Hello everyone, this is Mark. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change out the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 3668 desktop computer. And what I'm going to be doing is changing out the old three and a half inch original hard drive that came in the computer for this two and a half inch solid state drive, the Samsung. Uh, finally got down to a price where I could uh, make sense to change it out. And uh, again, I bought this on sale on Amazon. so. I had one in a, a laptop. I installed one in a laptop a couple of years ago, a 500 gigabyte model, and it's worked very well there. So I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on this. And I'm also going to be using this Sabrent uh, adapter to hold the new hard drive in place for the old three and a half inch slot was. So uh, I've used one of these as well in a desktop computer that I repaired for a friend. So uh, served me well. So again, total I'm in about $50 for uh, both of those items via Amazon. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is going to be to attach this Samsung hard drive to the actual bracket. And you can see there are four slots here and these tiny screws, these came with the adapter. So you can see I've already started three of these and there's actually a slot below. You know, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's, if you wanted to put two of these hard drives in there, you could do that one above and one below. I'm going to go ahead with the uh, above slot. And again, this screw just uh, one, two, three, four goes in here on the side like so. We'll just start that in there by hand. And then these are Phillips head screws. So we'll take a screwdriver and go ahead and tighten this up. And there you go, it's nice and tight in there. And here's the slots where the cables inside the computer are going to go. And so that is it. Now we will uh, get the computer CPU and take that apart and do the change out. Okay, so here we have the CPU, the back of it, and you can see that there are one, two screws right here. Again, they're Phillips head. And we are just going to unscrew these from the back. Then I'm just going to grab this handle and pull it. And this side of the case pops off. And then what I'm going to do is just lay this CPU on the side. And you can see there are three tabs here where I'm going to pop this faceplate off. So we'll just loosen this with the finger and pull it forward to all three. And then stand this back up carefully. And this face plate pops right off. And you can see there's tabs here where it goes in. I'll show you a little bit better. But there are tabs on this side of the face plate where they pop into place right here and align with these tabs on the CPU itself. So again, when I reassemble it, I'm just going to pop those in and then do this left side and 
press it back down and engage those clips again. So now that we've got this open, this actually slides out. So pretty well designed. And this is where the current hard drive sits. So again, I'm going to take this out. There is one other screw right here on the back. Let's spin this around just a little bit so we can see it. But this screw is right here. And so again, I'm going to remove that. And the uh, two screws I removed from the back and this screw are all the same size, so they're all interchangeable. So no need to worry about mixing those up. And then again, we'll just pop this out. I'm going to go ahead and unhook these cables. And then this hard drive just slides right back out. So there we have the three and a half inch hard drive. And it's still intact. And then this has a series of screws on the side. One, two, three, four. So what we're going to do is remove these four screws and pull the actual hard drive out and then take the other and plug it back in here. Okay, so we've removed this three and a half inch hard drive. And again, there are four screws on the side, two on each side of this encasement that holds the three and a half inch hard drive. We're just gonna unscrew these. And then carefully just pull this hard drive out of this encasement. And there you go. We'll set this three and a half inch original hard drive aside. And then again, where the prongs are is the front of this encasement. So basically what we're going to do is make sure you got the front aligned here. And there are some screw holes on this Sabrent adapter right here and here. And the same on the opposite side. And we're just going to match those up with the four screw holes and they should fit just fine. Okay, so I've got this bracket installed here, uh, partly. I just have not tightened these screws and I got this one screw left so I can just kind of show you how this again pops in here. And again, these line up perfectly with the case. But once you have those started, we're just going to go ahead and tighten these four screws. So that's it. So now we've got this all back and assembled the way it should be. And again, we're ready to slide it back in here. Okay, I'm gonna spin this around and just show you that there are two slots right here and here. And you'll notice that there are two prongs here and these little prongs go in those slots so that I can slide this back in 
to the CPU and we'll do this like so. You see those are those prongs and again they go in those slot holes and we just push that back and then you see this screw aligns right here in the back where I can reattach that screw. Start that by hand. You go ahead and tighten that. And your hard drive is now in place securely. Okay, so this hard drive is in place now securely. And what we're going to do now is just go ahead and reattach these cables. And they can, they only they basically only go on one way, but we'll put the bottom one in first and attach it. And then we'll do the smaller one. We'll just plug it in. Make sure they're in there tightly. And that should do it. So now we will just close this back up. back and again we'll reattach this face plate these the right side of this goes in that these slots on the right side we'll just pop that down to make sure these prongs snap into place and we'll stand this like so And bring this side of the case here. You see you've got the handle on the back here. Yeah, that slides in and then just pops into place. And then we've got our two screws on the back again that we need to reinstall. We'll go ahead and tighten those up. And now this thing is all back together. So I did go ahead and finish installing the uh, system image from the backup drive onto the uh, Dell Inspiron and the new solid state hard drive. And I'm happy to say that uh, everything worked great. No problems, and uh, the computer does run much faster now. So uh, thanks for watching this, and hopefully it'll be of help to, to some folks out there. And again, I appreciate your taking the time to uh, view this. If you liked it, then certainly send a like my way. And that is it. We will see you again soon. Thank you.